Hello, good afternoon, good morning, whatever time it is over there right now. So in this training today, I want to use this period to explain uh, one of the menus that we have in Microsoft Word, which is Mail Match, okay? Mail Match, you know, remember we have file as part of our menu, we have home, we have insert, we have design, we have layout, references, the mailings mail match is actually under mailings uh in the menu bar of your microsoft word so we're going to be looking at mail match what is mail match and what do you use it for uh if you want to send a letter for example let me give you a practical example for a better understanding uh assuming that flourish ict academy uh conducted interview for about 500 applicants for a position in our company and we have only maybe about 10 candidates successful uh, we needed to write letter to other candidates about 490 of them to let them know that oh we are sorry the interview uh, was not successful for each of them now to write a letter to each of these 490 people by the HR department one by one with their name and their unique address is going to take a long time. That is where the issue of mail match comes in. You want to send a newsletter as well to maybe different companies and you want each of the letter to carry the address or the name of each of the company or the person you are sending it to. You need mail match to be able to do that faster. Because imagine this letter right now. Uh, this is an interview letter. We're going to be using mail match for letter. There are about four different uh, ways of you can use mail match. You can use it to send a letter out. So we are looking at sending a letter out because it's the same with other, uh, you know, ways of using it as well. This one says we interview a number of candidates for a job and we have decided to move forward with another candidate. Although your interview was also, so we want to put the address of each of the unsuccessful candidates and also address it to them like maybe they are james or i james uh we interview so to do that for about 400 candidates is going to take a lot and a lot of time so that's why we are going to use may match so i hope you understand why may match and what <clears throat> is being used for right now okay it's used to send letter envelope label you know to multiple people at the same time but not the same letter with but a unique letter that has their unique address as their unique name on top of the letter so that is what it is used for so let's get started how do you go about it you start with this group called start mail match you can see it here so select mail match i'm going to click on this drop down in our case is letter you can see letter so it could be email messages you want to send an email to 10 people or 20 people and then the email will address each of them by their first name not just they are all okay this is a unique email to everybody but the content is the same just their name and their address envelopes you can do that as well labels you can do that directory so we are actually using letter as we have here. So I'm going to click letter. When you click on letter, look at it. It's as if nothing actually happened on the screen. That's okay. That's normal. The next thing you are going to go into now is the recipient. Recipient. Recipient is disabled here. Why, 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 why? Okay, let's come back here. Okay, select recipient. Great. Recipient is okay here. We have selected the mail match. Remember, we came over here and we select letter. You can see letter is selected. Next is to select recipient. So you click on the recipient. Now, type a new list. I'm sure that you will not like to go about this because if the list is much, it's going to take a longer time to type a new list. Look at it. If I click here, it means I have to write the title, Mr. First Name. I'm it. Okay. And then uh, last name.
okay, company. So I have to write the company, right address, write all of this. Imagine if I have to do this for about 500 people. That's going to take time. That's going to take time. So uh, this option you can only use if you are sending to maybe two or three people and then you don't have the contact list saved somewhere. And then you can see new entry or you can actually delete an entry. So that's for the new address list. But we are not going to be using this option, so I'm going to cancel it. I'll come over here. I'll use, use an existing list. Remember, if you have people who have been working with you or that apply to your organization for a job, you definitely have the database of all of them. So I have a list in Excel. So that's why when you're going to use a member, it's good to have a contact. You can get a contact from maybe SQL Server, Excel, or whatever. And then you are going to use it for the main match. Because I already have a list for this demo class that we are going to use. So what I'm going to use that, I'm going to use, use an assistant list. And then you can pick from Outlook contact as well. If you have a Microsoft Outlook that you are using on your system and is active, and you have the contact saved to your Outlook. So use an assistant list. I click on that. Okay, it's going to come over here. So I will browse to where the assistant list is. For me, the assistant list is uh, on this folder. No, 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 no. Let me copy that. That's my assistant list. I will copy. Okay, look at the list here. I have uh, mail match demo. This is the list that we are going to use. Let me show you that list before we select it from here. I put up that list for the purpose of this uh, uh, lesson. Okay, so it's good to maintain contact list. The same way you have contact list on your mobile phone, you can have contact list on the system as well. So that in a case like this, it will be useful. Look at it. This is the list it has tied to. I, the list is maintained in Microsoft Excel as a database for the contact, TAN, CT, postcode. I have all of these as the list, you know, to be used. And then on sheet one. So we go back to our main match. I'm going to select it. That's the contact we are going to be using because I cannot go ahead and be typing the contact one by one. I already have the list. So look at it, sheet one in Excel, it's attached. So what I will do next is to do OK. Great. Now it seems as if nothing has happened. That's fine as well. OK? So if you want to know whether that list is OK or not OK, come to edit recipient list. You are going to see all the, look at it. This is the list that I just showed you right now. You can see all of them here. Data source is giving us the data source as what? Mail match demo dot xlsx. That is Excel sheet. And then you can see the last name, the first name. So your list, I, I mean, your list can contain, depending on what you are doing, you can also have email address in your list. Okay? Uh -huh. So it doesn't matter. Your database of contact, I mean, can have all the feed. You can have address, you can have some other information that you know. It is important uh, to, you know, to store. So now we have the city, the postcode, the town, you can see. Now from here as well, you can sort. You can sort this list, you can see here. You can filter, you can filter out some list, especially when you have like a thousand lists, a lot of lists, and you don't want to send to everybody. You can even uncheck. Look at it, if I uncheck all of this, and I click OK, the mail, match, the letter will not go to this James and Emma, down. Okay? So you can uncheck, you can filter out, you can, you know, you can find recipient, you can check whether there's a duplicate as well. Especially, like I said, if you have a large sheet, if you are working for a global organization and you are using a mail match, you can imagine the number of employees, when there are plenty and you need to write a letter to everybody, maybe like a Christmas season like this, or end of the year, you want to tell them, hey, I, James, I want to appreciate you for what you have done. I, Emma, I, Frank, I, Leon. You want to write a letter to them based on their last name. You can use a main match to do that. That is going to be one of the ways you can also use it. So that's that. Then we click OK. Fine. So we have uh, select the main match. We said this letter. 
we have select the recipient, we choose an existing list that we have kept, okay? Not type a list, which is going to take us time to do. And then we have previewed the list under edit recipient list, right? So the next thing is write and insert fit. If you want address, remember this is a letter. It might have an address. Usually when you are writing a letter, you are going to have the address at the top, right? Whether left or right, I don't know. You choose that depending on what type of letter you are writing. So we are going to have the address at the top. So I can just create space on my letter. And I will come to, this is greeting line. And then uh, we are going to come to address block. Look at it. We click on it. So that list that we have, Mr. This is a sample of address block. You can decide how you want it to be. Mr. Joshua Jr. Specify address element. You can do Josh. That's the first one. Or you can do something like this. It's going to have the full name. You can do something like this. Recipient name in this format. So how do you want the recipient name to be? Do you want it to include the full name? Or just like, uh, you know, this stylist name, Josh. Whichever way you want it to be. And then you can actually select that. Then here is a preview of whatever selection you make. You select here. You are going to see the name. You are going to see the address. You are going to see the city. And then you are going to see the post code. You can see now. This has been picked from the sheet. Okay. Dan Emmanuel. This is the full name. If you select this, it's going to give you the full name. So I think we should go with this. To have the first and the last name. So let's see this. This is another name. Choma. Ahmed, Yusuf, you can see. So you can preview all of them from here. Okay, but if you have a lot of names, you might not be able to preview all. Maybe about 500. At least you just check to ensure that, okay, this is okay. Insert poster address. If you don't want it, you click on this. Poster address, you check this. And then uh, format address according to the destination, country, or region. That is fine. Okay, then I click OK. Yeah, you can see now, address block. This is how it's going to be. I can preview it. It's going to bring out the name. Look at it. Look at it. Different one. So when I do not preview, if I don't want to preview, this is how it will be. But automatically, the address will be inserted into this place. So preview. Uh, preview it. It brings out the name. You don't want to preview. You leave it as is. So this is fine. We are okay with this. So I can leave it at this. Then, okay, let's do it in this way, preview, so that I can close the space here. This space is much. Okay, let's leave the space like this. So, we are going to have the address. Each of the recipients will have their unique address at the top of the letter. That's why it's going to be like this. Each of them will have their unique address. Okay, this does a sample, uh, which I made Yusuf name. So, this is a sample. All of them will have different and get the same letter, but with different address. The next thing is that you want to put a greeting line, okay? You want to put a greeting line, like uh, I, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You click on the greeting line, so it can be there. So you can select from here to, it can be. So I think we should start with there. Then do you want their name, Mr. or Mrs. or the full name, okay? Or the full name, just let's leave it at the first name like this, okay? And then... A uh, greeting line for invalid recipient will be dear sir or madam. This is for the recipient that doesn't have a first name or the last name in the database that you are using. So instead of it to be blank, it should be dear sir or madam because their name is not specified in the sheet that you are using. So this one is going to be dear Mr. Yusuf. Okay? We interview. So if you are okay with this, then you just do okay. You can see now, if I click on this, look at a greeting line. Preview. Greeting line. Why? Because the address line is Yusuf. That's why you have it. If I check this, look at it. Dear Miss Leon, you can see. Dear Mrs. Frank, that's for Smith Frank. You can see from the screen, as I check in the preview, each of them, dear Miss James. So this are is going to come up, and then we have it unique for everybody. Okay, dear Miss, we interview a number of candidates, then that's how the letter will be. Okay, 
So next thing now is our finish and merge. Finish and merge. Do we want to finish now? The answer is yes. But before we do that, let's click on this area. We want to see each of the letter. You know, remember in this letter we have seven contacts, right? Yes, how many? Seven of them. Let's see the seven letter. I want to see it first because you might want to print out the letter. If you don't want to send by email, maybe you want to print. So you come over to edit individual document so that you can see. I click on this, all, I want to see all. I click OK. Then you see what happened. It's going to duplicate the letter into seven pages on your document because there are seven address. Look at the first one. OK. Then you go to the next page. You can see down Ima, Dia, Ima. OK. Look at the third one. You can see. Then look at the fourth one. Trauma, you can see. Then look at the fifth one. So that is how exactly. So by now you see how it is. And then if you want to print out the letter and then maybe uh, send by poster or whatever, then you are done. You just to send to printer and the seven letter will come out and then that's fine. And if you want to send by email as well, no problem. You go ahead and then you can now send the letter to email. You can even copy as it is, copy this one and send, copy the second one and send. The address has been attached for you. You don't need to do anything again about that. So that is what we do with mail match under mailing in Microsoft Word. I hope this is clear. If it is not or you have any question about this, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always available for you when it comes to your IT knowledge, development, and education. Thank you for your learning journey with us in 2024. I look forward to having you in class in 2025. Bye for now.